what is next gen gaming? You know, when did the very notion of next gen gaming start to become what is the bump in specs going to be? When did the measure of next generation gaming be solely based on hardware and specs and little to no innovation? When did that become the status quo? And in fact, if it is the status quo, how long will the video game industry survive? You know, all over YouTube, you hear more and more people complaining about supposedly the process and power or they, what they say the lack thereof, the CPU power for the Wii U. And what's, what I find interesting is, instead of taking the approach of this is the next generation gaming because of the experience, because of the user interface, because of how you are able to play and interact with the console game, no one's mentioning that. All you hear about is, it's not next gen because it doesn't have strong hardware. And that's really sad. So, I'm under the impression now that to be classified as next gen, all one must have is a system with beefed up specs, and then that automatically makes it next gen. Never mind what the experience is. Never mind how the software is beautifully integrated into it. And never mind that often the two other players, who names need not be mentioned, will copy the innovation of another, but yet claim that it is all about hardware. Hmm. I find that very interesting. Next Gen should be about a brand new experience for the consumer. Now, granted, I understand that there is some need of hardware adjustments. That's, that's true. But how much is the question here? Now, in a society where power seems to mean everything, well, actually, let's, let's think about this. The only, really, area that you see a lot of this in is, of course, electronics. More power equals better hardware, right? Never mind software integration. And part of this is a direct result of the smartphone, tablet, technology revolution as well. Most of us have become accustomed to that six-month update, that six-month bump in specs. However, even in the smartphone tablet world, the new innovative features are, quote-unquote, what is the real measurement of next-gen. And a lot of times, if those things are missing, most people are disappointed. So, I ask you guys, when did next-gen become something that is measured again solely in hardware. In fact, if you look at what Nintendo has done, by all normal rules, this is definitely considered next-gen gaming. A significant bump in hardware for Nintendo, as well as a brand new um, intuitive way to play games with the tablet controller. I mean, everything about the Wii U screams next generation. But of course... According to those who claim that it is six and seven year old technology, this doesn't meet that criteria. What I find interesting about that too is, as much as people claim that they want the brand new hardware, are people truly really willing to pay the price for that new hardware? It's interesting, this cycle, if anything, taught us that nobody wants to buy a $600 console. So in essence, we are hypocrites. We want reasonable pricing. But at the same time, we want brand new, super hyperinflated hardware. Well, I got news for you guys. You can't have both. And there's a bunch of companies that tried that. Sega, 3DO, Neo Geo, Jaguar. I mean, I could go on and on about the companies that tried to play the hardware game and thought that hardware equals success. And in reality... It never has. Games. That's right. Games are what make a console successful. And not even really multi-plats. Original IPs are what make any platform more successful than another. And especially if your company name is Nintendo.